I recently visited this haunted fort in Virar and the experience was pretty scary. I'm talking about Arnaya Killa or Arnaya Fort, a nearly 500 year old fort located in my hometown Virar. Before I get into the paranormal part of the story, let's begin with the history of this marvelous fort, the history of Arnaya Fort. Back in the 1500s, the Portuguese had their eyes on Arnaya Island. They were pretty smart putting up a martello tower at the river's mouth. By the 1530s, the whole island was under Portuguese control. There was this noble guy who tried to build a big fort, but well, he did not finish it. For about 200 years, this fort was like the Portuguese boss, telling ships what to do along the Congan coast. Skip ahead to the late 1600s, where Maratha Confederacy fought the Mughal Empire and they really wanted Arnaya for his special fort. In 1737, Peshaw Bajirao and his brother Chimajiya Pai took charge. The first strike did not work out, but in March 1737, they surprised the Portuguese, who had to run away fast. Peshaw Bajirao one was so happy with the win that he told Shankaraji to build a new fort. It got 10 bastions, but now only one is still standing at all. Then the British wanted a piece of the action. In 1781, during the first Anglo-Maratha war, they took over the Arnaya fort. The Treaty of Salbai said it should go back to the Marathas, but the British kinda stuck around until 1870. They even made the Marathas give up the fort in the third Anglo-Maratha war. That Treaty of Puna thing made it official. The paranormal activity at Arnaya fort. While exploring the Arnaya fort, I found these two entrances that lead the tourists somewhere inside the fort. I got an eerie feeling about it and decided not to enter for obvious reasons. I got shit scared and had a sleepless night when I went home. Before visiting this fort, I heard many people talk about the paranormal activities at the fort. I always believed that these spirits belong to the ones who got killed over the years defending their side, be it the Marathas, Portuguese, Mughals or the British. So if you are a true adventure seeker, you will find the Arnaya fort interesting. How to reach Arnaya fort and what's the best time to visit? Arnaya fort is accessible from various parts of Mumbai and its surrounding areas. But the best and the quickest option is to travel by train. Travel from whatever railway station that you want to and get down at Vera railway station. Then hire a rickshaw and get down to Arnaya beach. You will have to wait for the ferry that will take you from the shore to the fort in a few minutes. The best time to visit Arnaya fort is during the winter months from November to February. During this period, the weather is pleasant with cooler temperature, making exploration more comfortable. Additionally, visiting on weekdays or early weekend mornings can provide a more serene experience to you, allowing you to explore the fort with fewer crowds. That's it from today's video on Arnaya Fort. Are you planning to explore it anytime soon? Drop your thoughts below. If you want to learn more about our Indian history, make sure that you hit like, comment, share and save. I'm Abhishek Nagpe and you're watching Babadi Explorer.